here from Weight Watchers, and she is here to teach us how to make a healthy chicken tender for your family, as opposed to perhaps something that you're buying in the frozen section or buying at a fast food restaurant. Mm -hmm. Chicken poppers can be so good for you if you have the right lean cut of meat, mix it with some whole grain um, goodness and lots of flavor, and the kids will love it, and the husband will too. <laughs> <laughs> That's all we need, right? Um, tell folks what they need to get to get this ready. Okay, so simple. really simple, really quick and easy. You're going to have some lean chicken and you just cube it up into one inch cubes. I dip it in some egg whites, egg whites because I'm slashing the fat, saving the fat off of a whole egg. And then these are whole wheat panko breadcrumbs and they're wonderful because they had a great crunch. I add to that some cornmeal that also gives it a crunch and a little bit more nutrition. And my seasonings are salt and pepper, garlic salt and paprika and that'll help to add a little bit of flavor in there too. And we are both working moms so we were discussing that your trick, your shortcut for the chicken. My tenders. shortcut for the chicken is I buy the lean chicken strips and then all I have to do when I get home is slice them into cubes. I don't have to take in away, away any of the yuckiness that comes on chicken sometimes. I'm all for that. Um, your kids you said are five and nine. Mm -hmm. How many do you think, how much would you need to feed them? Like how many poppers would they eat? This when it's all cooked and ready is going to feed a family of four. I have a pound of chicken here and my children Emma and Lila love the poppers and so this is enough for a family of four, one pound of chicken. Okay and your other shortcut is, and it's also less wasteful, is you buy like Wegmans will make these prepackaged yes. egg whites. For busy moms who don't have a lot of time the shortcuts are, are huge. So eat, so these egg whites are great. I know a lot of people love to use egg substitutes. That's okay too. What I love about this is if I look at the ingredients, it says 100% liquid egg whites. That's it. Nothing else. That's right. Simpleness. All right. Terrific. Uh, Tracy, when we come back, we're going to talk more about how to put this together. Great. Tracy Shoemaker here from Weight Watchers with us. And before we get started with the chicken poppers, tell us about this is one of the recipes with Weight Watchers. It sure is. One of the great things about Weight Watchers is we focus on the most nutritious, healthy foods. And so here we have lean chicken. All of our lean proteins are going to be really good for our bodies nutritionally. Eggs are great. This is whole wheat panko breadcrumbs. So we're taking something that traditionally maybe doesn't have a lot of nutrition in it and using a, an ingredient that has lots of nutrition. And when you add this in it, does that change it at all? It does. This is uncooked cornmeal. And so what this does when I add this in here is it's going to keep it crunchy and it's going to give it a little bit of a nice consistency. Wow, that looks and a little And so if different. you look, you can see that there are little bits of crunchiness. Yeah, it's not so milled, not, not so right, fine. Right, not so fine. And that's going to give a great texture once it comes out of the oven. And I love this because I was telling you that um, I get just the canister of the regular white panko, but you put buy this in the yes, organic in, section? In the organic section at Wegmans, they have it, and it says whole wheat. The beautiful thing about whole wheat products, whenever you have the option to do a non-whole wheat, see if you can do a whole wheat, like regular breadcrumbs versus whole wheat, the whole wheat's better because it has more staying power. Same thing with bread, white bread versus whole wheat bread, more staying power. Do you find as a mom of, you know, five and nine-year-old that, do they, can they tell the difference and does it, you know? They only know whole wheat and so when they go to a friend's house and see white bread they say mama what's that <laughs> because it's white and not brown and so it's all about what you put Teach around them, them. Mm -hmm. you started them right off right you got it i think that's the key all right and so total time that we're going to take to put this all together oh it's quick it'll be about two minutes to dunk dip and get on the baking sheet and we'll have some extra time to chat more about the chicken poppers <laughs> when we come back in our next segment all right It's time to put the chicken poppers together, and we have a uh, Tracy Shoemaker from Weight Watchers. What do we have to do first? Okay, so we've got our panko breadcrumbs, we've got our cornmeal. I'm going to add salt and pepper. Here's a little paprika and some garlic salt. You mix this together. This becomes your coating, and this is what's going to give all the yummy crunch on these chicken style nuggets. So you put the garlic salt in there, not just the gar garlic powder? Right. The garlic salt gives it just a little bit more of a kick because there is no salt in any of the grains that we've put in here. And we should have our oven going at what temperature? Your oven's going to be at 425. Oh, it's a high heat. Mm -hmm. And you only cook these for five minutes on each side, so they're done really quick. So you have to actually... Um be able to turn them over. You can turn them, them over. Up. What I like to do is I like to cook them on a cooking stone because then you don't have to turn them over and they just cook all Is this a cooking straight. stone? This is not a cooking stone, but What's I know a cooking stone. A cooking stone is one of those if you see how that's tin, yep. a cooking stone is more like a clay based stone. Oh, really? And what it does is it transfers the heat more thoroughly and so whatever food you put on there cooks 
all the way through without burning. And so you don't have to flip it. It generates the heat a little bit better. Where do you get something like that? You can buy it at um, any food store, any, food like store, store? any cooking store. I know Williams Sonoma has some great ones. Um, okay. Walmart carries them anywhere. So egg wash, put it into the breadcrumbs. Oh, you do it in bulk. Shake it around. And then you just put them right down on your pan. So this is a great recipe to do. You know, I know a lot of people who work and have small kids at home and they don't maybe have a lot of time to sit down and have a nice dinner with their family. This is something that you can do really easy. You don't have to oil the pan or the stone or anything? Nope, you don't have to oil it. In fact, what I'm going to do after I have these out here is I'm going to take some olive oil. This is my Weight Watchers oil sprayer. And you pump it up. It's non-aerosol. And then you spray the olive oil directly on the nuggets. And this way, they're going to crisp up really well. And olive oil is a great healthy oil. So I've taken out unhealthy fat, and I'm adding in good, healthy, rich omega-3 fat. That's amazing. And you get this at Weight Watchers? I mean, you can find yes, it. Yes, sure Weight Watchers has that. this. It's only $11.95. It's the best 11 bucks I've ever spent. <laughs> and you just fill it up with any oil. I have people who take two, one for oil and one for vinegar, and then they can spritz their salad. It's Gosh. a really nifty kitchen tool. So when you put that in the oven and it's time to turn after the five minutes, do you have mm -hmm. to spray it again, the other side? Yes, spray the other side again. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep, All so right. you'd flip and spray. All right, if I could try and do that, and I'm going to let you talk about um, Weight Watchers and I guess the whole point system. Yes, uh, Weight Watchers works on a point system, and what that does is it helps us to make sure that we're not eating too much. We also focus on what we call good health guidelines to ensure that we can have the right amount of nutrition in our body every day. One mistake that people make when they're trying to lose weight is they cut too much out too quickly, and then they don't have the right amount of nutrition and then they can struggle with cravings and mood swings and all sorts of different things. And I imagine the cravings are the worst thing if you are watching what you're eating. Yes, because then whatever you think you can't have is the only thing you can think about. Like with everything in life, right? Yes. You're told not to and that's what you focus on. And that's on. what you focus on. And so at Weight Watchers we're all about not depriving but um, eating the right foods in the right amounts and having the flexibility to do it in real life. Just tell me and clarify this for me. Everybody, you know, everybody says eat more vegetables, eat more fruits. Mm -hmm. But fruits actually are sugary foods, so you have to watch it. You can't eat them. Fruit uh, has sugar for sure, but the beauty of it is the sugar that comes in fruit is a natural sugar, and it's wrapped in fiber. And so when you eat it, it's a slow release into your system. And so it's not going to spike your blood sugar the way that a processed packaged sugar would. Okay. So when you're eating fruit and vegetables that also have fruit in them, your body's going to turn that fruit into glucose, but it's going to do it in a very slow process so that you don't see those spikes. And what if somebody um, wants to, you know, eat in this healthy way, but is it, do they have to join like a Weight Watchers or can, what would you recommend? Well, I would recommend that whatever. they go to WeightWatchers.com because there are a couple different options. You can do an online only and um, have all the online tools. Or if you want to come and check out a meeting for free and kind of see what it's all about, maybe you're just not sure. See come if it's for you. And, yeah, see if it's for you. Come and check it out, see what it's about. And uh, we also have something called the monthly pass, which is an amazing value. Because with the monthly pass, you get unlimited meetings and you get free e-tools, including, and they just came out with this online bar scan. Oh, that makes it easy. Yes. Yeah, so wow. if you take any barcode and you scan it up to your phone, it's going to tell you the points plus and the nutritional value of that food. Excellent. Okay. We're going to pretend put that in the oven, and we've got some that we can pull out. Yes. Let's pull these out. And we're just going to show folks what this looks like, and then when we come back, I'll try it, and you're going to do a second helping where a healthy dip. Everybody loves a dip. Everybody loves a creamy Mexican dip. Excellent. So this is the finished product. When we come back, I'm going to try it, but for now, we're going to leave you. We're talking dips. You made a quick dip for the poppers. And what was this called again? This is a creamy salsa dip for the poppers. And you can also dress those poppers in any of your favorite sauce. My favorite is the hot wing sauce. Very and good. This is a creamy Mexican dip, starting with Greek yogurt, which is protein packed. I'm going to add a little bit of roasted salsa, it gives it a smoky flavor. That's a half a cup salsa on top of a cup of Greek yogurt. I've got a quarter cup diced avocado. This is a chipotle. I love that. Isn't that yummy? Yes. We're going to toss in some red onion, which has lots of good antioxidants, and some cilantro for a good flavor. You mix this up, and it's going to turn into a wonderful Mexican dip that you can serve with a whole grain tortilla chip. And it's, it's, it seems very healthy. Very healthy, very easy. All right. Um, 
Dips always seem to me, whenever I see them, unless I know that it's a low fat, I think, bad thing for me to avoid. Yes, especially creamy ones. But this one, because of the Greek yogurt, is oh so good. Greek yogurt. Tell us more about that. Greek yogurt has protein. protein. So in one cup of Greek yogurt is 23 grams of protein. And this <gasps> is a 0% fat-free Greek yogurt. It's thick. It's creamy. It's so versatile. You can use it sweet with fruit. You can do it savory like we did with the dip. That's fantastic. You can substitute any kind of like sour cream with this. Sour cream, use this instead because you're adding rich, nutritious goodness. Cutting out all the fat because this is what, zero fat? Yep, zero percent fat. All natural, lots of protein. Protein keeps you fuller longer, so you will eat less. I'm ready to dip. All right. Tracy, Tracy Shoemaker from Weight Watchers, thank you so much for these great ideas. Healthy too. Thank you.